Experts say that there is a housing crisis in Pinellas County, especially for the middle class. And because of that, it's getting even harder for Habitat for Humanity to do its job. Reporter Eric Waxler today with the struggle they now face. Pinellas County doesn't have much room when it comes to building new homes. It's the most densely populated county in the southeast United States. So that's where the challenge lies when Habitat for Humanity of Pinellas looks for new places to build at prices they can afford. Over the last four years at Habitat, we've seen a 40% increase in the cost of our homes. Um, the families we serve uh, during that same four year period have only seen their, um, their affordability um, uh, increase about $100. The cost of living in Pinellas County is climbing fast. County officials say the fair market rent for a two bedroom apartment is more than $1,000. To afford living in a place like that, you'll need to make about $19.40 an hour, way more than the minimum wage. There's not only a lack of affordable housing, there's also a lack of housing um, kind of in that, that middle, in, you know, middle class income level. That's why what Habitat for Humanity offers is more important than ever. In Largo's Danville community, there are already 13 Habitat homes, and this week they're breaking ground on six more. The mortgage on these homes is interest free with payments averaging $700 to $800 a month so qualifying families can really see a transformation. It's almost symbolic of seeing the uh, cycle of poverty break for these families. Um, they're automatically uh, building generational wealth through home ownership. These empty lots will be finished new homes in about four months and six families already are slated to move in. In Largo, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.